G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel Bonzo Works, I'm David. Today I'm going to do some juniper maintenance, juniper uh, procumbens maintenance. Um, it's summer at the moment, even though it's raining all day long <laughs> here in Melbourne, but it's summer at the moment and this tree belongs to a client of mine um, who I, I styled this tree back probably eight to nine months ago, I think. Um, I repotted it over the um, winter break. So end of winter, I repotted this tree into its new position. It was on a different angle. But now it's in the right angle that I need it. Tree's super healthy, super strong, um, looking really good. There's a couple little branches that have died off. Um, but this is about juniper maintenance and what I do about going through maintenance of this tree. Usually it's just trimming the foliage usually and then repositioning some, piece, some, some of the wiring because it's gone out, sometimes gets knocked and so on but yeah it's just a couple of really really simple things about junipers now i've got this tree and i've got a couple others that i'll show you the pretty much the same technique throughout the whole process same thing about cutting back do not pinch out the tops have you if you ever learned that someone teach someone people have been teaching to to do that at the top don't do that don't do that it just browns off and kills the tip you need to come in and clip with clip with scissors the the, the actual branch or the the, the bit you want to cut off so let's have a look at this tree. It's not a bad little tree. Um, it's kind of got a nice angle. It's got some nice shari now on the trunk. It's got another sh shari out here that I could probably remove the wire on. It's got to be a wire on that. Um, but there are some dead bits, so we'll have to get rid of those and reposition the wire where, where they are. Um, most of the most likely, mostly the tree's quite healthy. You can see the flush of growth, nice and healthy. So we're going to go back and position the wiring again and re redo the tree. So I start with the lowest branch again and look at where it's sitting. It's not a bad position right there, but a lot of the foliage is really starting to come up and I might need to rewire. But at the moment, I just try and position the, the main branch again, the main wide branch, just a little bit. Now I can really extend out a lot of the branching so I can make it longer. But you notice how these are really long now. So I'll come in and go trim that back. So I trim it off at the woody part or, or semi-woody part, whatever I can get to. But you've got to come back a little. And if there's anything dead, remove that as well. I think I might have to go in a little bit further as well because it's a bit too long. And I'll remove the wire if it's extended too long. It's just very simple maintenance. Now that I've got the, the length of that branch, I can look at reducing some of these a bit further. So all these are gone too long. I want to get back budding. I want to get closer buds. I want to make this a fuller pad. So all this has been great to, to grow the tree on, but it needs to come back a little. So I go through the process of trimming it off. Now I do look for any crotch growthing. Crotch growth is where it grows in between, a little branch grows in between two main branches. So you might have two main branches and a little growth grows in between it. So I've got to look at those and get rid of those because they're not, they're not going to be any use. Anything growing downwards, which isn't many on this because I took all those off when I actually styled this tree. Um, there's not many, but you remove those anyway, if there is. And please note, I'm not doing like a tapery style. I'm actually going in and cutting the branches each branch that I want to get rid of. And I'm cutting actually where the branchy bit is. So that first branch is kind of nicely been lightly pruned and has a nice clean underneath and starting to be reduced back so that it actually can fill out with lots of lighting and we try and get some back biting in there as well. And once we start with the, once we finish with this one, we just keep working up the tree uh, on both sides and we get a nice, hopefully good result. There really isn't much structurally, structurally that I like to change on this tree. It's quite a nice style already. Did all that work initially eight months ago. So really now about just maintenance and getting it looking good again. So
So here's the tree after a nice little clean up. Um, it doesn't look the best in two dimensions, but in three dimensions it's looking really nice. I'll do a little spin so you can see from the side on how good that looks. All the way around. It's a great little tree, especially when trying to see it in three dimensions. <laughs> but yeah, very happy, nicely cleaned up, um, ready for it's next it does grow keep growing in on late late summer early autumn even through autumn it'll still keep growing and shooting that's why i've given it a trim now otherwise it would have been out of control um come winter time and needing to cut back too much so that's the first tree done we'll go on to the next one all right so here's a here's a nice medium sized juniper procumbens again i've done this in video done this tree about eight months ago um the wire is all good i forgot to mention the wire is not cutting in at all um so it's all good in that sense no big no big dramas there but um the tree needs to be you know cleaned up rewired not rewired but repositioned the branches i didn't have to put any wire on new wire on the other small one i'm thinking the same thing here probably doesn't have to be rewired at all any parts it just needs a bit of a trim up and clean up again start at the bottom work my way up um, if you can probably see this is kind of a weak branch the lower one so when i see a little weak one like that I really don't prune too much. I, I pretty much leave it alone. I just reposition the branches. I don't want to cut any of the foliage off, but in the heavy and strong areas, I'll cut more off. Um, that just balances the growth of the tree and gives this, this, this branch a chance to catch up and get stronger. This, this branch is doing really well on that side, but this one's kind of covered by these other ones above. So it probably hasn't got as much light as, before, as the other ones above it. So it's probably why it struggled a little. But again, I'm just going to work my way from the bottom upwards, upwards, and really clean up the tree. So here's what the tree looks like now, much more Defined pads, much more cleaned out, thinned out. You can see how much more thinner it is, much more clean, um, really healthy, good dimensions, three dimensional all the way around. Looks really good from all different angles that we spin it around. Uh, as I said, the wire is not cutting in at all at the moment, so all good from that perspective. Really nice, really, really nice. Simple, elegant, nice tree. This is coming along really well, this branch. Um, it gives you that nice diamond head shape. Uh, there is this branch at the back here. I'm just leaving for now. I think um, it could go, but just leaving for now. It's okay. Just needs a bit of depth in that area. But other than that, really nice tree. <clears throat> Trimmed up. Now we let it grow again over the remainder of the summer and autumn. It will grow and flush out and become quite a nice bit of foliage pads without being too overgrown. If I left this and not didn't give it a trim now, it would just be out of control. Um, it was pretty pretty out of control already uh, before I got it. Very healthy. Make sure the trees are healthy before you work on them and really nice. So that's number two. I've got one larger one now to do. So here's the third tree that I'm cleaning up. Another juniper I'm cleaning up. This one has a little bit of dieback. Um, you can see it on some of the branches. These juniper procumbents tend to do that. So you give them a good spray. Um, of copper, what is it called? It's called pest oil in Australia. It's, it's a, it helps with um, controlling red mite infestation and a few other fungus that fungal infections these guys get. Um, so give it a good spray and it should fix it up. And I think I've stopped it on this tree for the client. It's a tree that you would have maybe seen previously in my videos. It had a blue pot from memory. So I repotted it into this beautiful Japanese uh, brown unglazed pot. Um, so looking really nice it's very full and healthy so this tree doesn't have as much i wouldn't treat it as harshly as i did the other ones pruning back so much because the pads are quite nice on this tree so a little bit of different technique here by just not going too hard on the foliage pads cleaning up underneath just slight trim on the top because these pads are coming up really well so it looks really nice and full and healthy so a little bit better more advanced tree so a bit bit slightly different care or similar process but not as harsh as the other two trees that I work on. So with this tree I want to use this branch as an example to show you what I'm trying to do. It's a really healthy branch, got lots of nice inside foliage, really starting to develop really well. So I don't go really hard 
on this on this area I try and take anything going downwards and anything that's just out of this kind of nice silhouette so there's this little branch here it's gone too high so you're just not creating a nice silhouette because I've done all the wiring already the wiring before has set all the branching just some things are now out of control of that out of the out of the shape out of the silhouette so we try and remove those they're going too harsh we need to keep filling out anything that's just out of a silhouette we reduce so it doesn't need too much that's becoming a really nice really nice pad clean underneath nice pad on top a few bits and pieces still you get what I'm trying to hopefully you get what I'm trying to say I don't get have to go as hard because I've wired it all in so that's all wide I can just push it back down it's a really nice piece here this one's a bit more ragged so I've got to do a bit more work to control where all the branching is going to go but anything that looks nice like this just needs that nice little bit of refinement to create that beautiful pad so I've been able to work all this side of the tree and really start to layer out the branches. You can see the much more hopefully defined layers with a more fuller apex, really, but nicely trying and nicely define it. Now I'm in, I'm in this section over here. I will try and spin it around a little bit. I haven't really worked on all this foliage yet. Um, I just want to give give you guys one of the, my thought process on what I'm doing. I'm at this branch here, unfortunately. This branch, this branch, there's one, two, three, coming off the one main branch that are looking sickly and um, not good. I need to make a decision about that and my decision is I'm going to remove it or remove the foliage and create a gym there and then try and get this healthy branch around a bit and bring some of these guys around a bit, some of these branches around to just fill in this gap for now. Drop this down a little bit, create some negative space in here um, but have these try and fill in this bit here. So So I finished my maintenance of this juniper. Um, it's come along, it's actually looking really good because of all the previous work that's been done on the tree. It's a, it's a building process. So when I initially styled this tree, restyled it back in about eight months ago, um, I white every branch. So by being able to white every branch, I can come today and just reposition those branches and get, this, get the actual pads quickly back to where they were and get the foliage according to those pads. Now some pads have really formed up really well, really nicely. Some pads need a bit more work and a bit more development. So we, we kind of um, reset those a bit and let, the, let nature take its course. But all in all, beautifully padded up tree. Um, we fixed this area that was dying. Now we fixed it up, come up even better than I expected with this branch down here. Don't have to even change the angle. I thought I might have had to change the angle, but tree looks all good from all different dimensions or different angles. So there you go. Really enjoyed um, when, when you can work on a tree continuously, that's how you get better trees. Don't just work on them and leave them for two years and then have to come back and chop them all over again. This is a matter of, you know, it was eight months. I've let the tree settle, come back because it was a big styling and now it's another, you know, bit more work probably come back in about so now it's um february it's summer here in melbourne so probably come back late uh, autumn early winter and give it a bit of a clean up as well so it's ready for spring and that should make it look really good over the over the into the spring and then into next year all right guys hope you enjoyed that video on juniper maintenance keep maintaining your trees keep working on them and they can look pretty awesome thanks for watching see you next time